it's rosy time yay <laughs> hey everybody happy friday afternoon one of the things that you'll find hard to believe here on youtube is that i watch many more youtube videos than i ever upload i know i have over four almost four thousand four hundred videos on uh, my channel don't ask me how it happened okay but uh, i look at a lot of youtube videos too and i enjoy following your guys channels out there that uh, put content up probably about a hundred channels and uh, i also enjoy exploring other channels too because i find it a lot of fun to learn new things and to, to see what other people are doing in life and uh it's always been one of my passions i don't watch tv i might watch maybe an hour of tv a week so really youtube is one of my main sources of entertainment yes missy jen and i will occasionally watch a uh, movie buy a movie off of amazon or rent a movie so i have a lot of time to watch youtube and i don't know about you guys but after all these years and i've been watching really since 2000 almost since youtube began i didn't become an uploader till well i planned my channel late 2012 and kicked it off in january 4th of 2013 but i had been a, a viewer of youtube long before i ever uploaded and one of the things that's consistently bothered me, if you're like me and you enjoy seeing projects on YouTube, one of the things that's always bugged me is people will start a project, they'll go gung-ho, they'll upload the videos, and all of a sudden you're getting excited, you're getting into the project, and kaboom, they just end. And you just wonder, what the hell ever happened? I mean, could you ever imagine that happening with a TV show? Just kaboom. I know some shows have been canceled before and things like that. Before their uh, run, well, it's kind of the same thing, but it happens much more frequently on YouTube. And it's probably my biggest pet peeve of being on YouTube is that there'll be channels that you enjoy following. You'll get into them. And then all of a sudden, kaboom, they have no termination to them. They don't have any finish on projects. Now, I'll give you an example. There's one of the things that I enjoy is restoration videos. I like seeing people restore things. I don't care whether it's houses. I don't care whether it's RVs, old automobiles. Well, it also includes old uh, old buses, passenger buses like uh, Trailways and Greyhounds, particularly the scenic cruiser buses of the 1950s, uh, the 1940s and 50s. I think that they're really cool and they probably mark the peak of the golden age of uh, bus travel in this country. And I've learned a lot by following some of the restorations, but almost every darn bus channel that I follow it just suddenly stops you'll be following along and you'll get an update like the last june of uh, january of 2014 and then next one september of 2015 nothing really else to show and then all of a sudden that's the end of the line you know uh, this will carry over to a new channel well it never does and it's one of my biggest pet peeves on youtube there's some young guy out in illinois that was had bought a 1956 uh, GMC Scenic Cruiser used by Greyhound. And I was excited. He was going to do a restoration on that. And he uh, bought it from a guy, probably a thousand bucks or something like Not much money. And he only managed to get it 20 miles. And then the clutch burned out on it. And he had to be towed multiple places. He couldn't park it here and park it there. And he finally found a got it home or a place to park it and he, he pulled out the engine which is kind of cool because the whole rear bumper comes out with the diesel engine which I thought was pretty cool. And he got the uh, transmission out with the clutch and uh, then it's like stay tuned guys and you see this thing a year later well we got the engine back in and everything's running again well maybe you did or maybe you didn't because you don't see any video. <laughs> video of it and I'm thinking damn I was excited about seeing this clutch restoration and uh, it just suddenly dies and I'm just thinking probably the project with the scope of it was just too big because the 
you know, window skylights were leaking in top and glass was broken. A lot of irreplaceable stuff that's very difficult to get for something that's, uh, well, a little older than I am, right? And not nearly in as good a shape. So that is really my pet peeve. It was very interesting. I had somebody write me this morning and say, what is your biggest pet peeve on YouTube? Well, that's it. I'll be following a home renovation project up along. I'll be following a, a car rebuild and restoration, an engine rebuild or a transmission rebuild. And all of a sudden, kaboom, it just stops. And it's really a pisser. That's my little uh, that's my little rant and my little uh, peeve on YouTube. I'd be really interested to hear yours. Happy Friday, y'all. Friday night foodies, y'all. Have a good night, okay? Mm.